Soundcheck. Go for it. If you're an entrepreneur or creator and you're telling yourself, I'll just practice until I get better and then I'll publish my work, you will fail. In this video, I'll explain why this is a trap you're so likely to fall into and what the solution is. This is made specifically for people who do creative or entrepreneurial work. Things like writing, making videos, making social media content, coding, doing design work, and so on. If you want to succeed in a field like this, your job is to ship. And that means what you need to do is create and publish your work. This is the most important thing to focus on, and that's especially true if you're scared and you don't feel ready yet. Your job is to ship. This is the mantra we use to remind ourselves that we need to publish our work, that what counts is publishing. Now, you can watch the full video on this here if you're not familiar with it yet, but in short, here's why this is important. In order to succeed in a field that requires creative work, you have to increase your skills. To increase your skills, you have to practice, and practice only counts when you ship. It only counts when you publish. Now, why is that? I mean, surely you could just practice by yourself and do all your repetitions and get better and better and eventually you'll still have a high level of skill, right? In theory, I know that sounds like it's true, but in practice, it just doesn't work like that. In this video, we'll look at the three things you need to understand to see why it only counts when you ship. Plus, I'll present you with one practical exercise to put everything we're looking at in this video into practice right away. Ask yourself this. If I tell you, hey, you need to publish your work in order to get better, why are you even reluctant to do that at all? I bet that you have all kinds of stuff going through your head when I suggest this, such as, oh no, no, I'm not good enough yet, or I'll just do some more practice by myself, I'll learn some more, read another book, take another course, and then I'll be ready to publish. Or even, if I publish now, my low quality, not good enough work is actually going to do more damage to my career than help. That's why I can't publish. These are all lies you tell yourself and you tell them because you feel the fear. We all have a deep fear of the judgment of other people. And what happens with creative work is that we are afraid that if we put it out there, it gets criticized, it gets judged by other people and somehow other people judging my work feels like them judging me. Now there are theories that suggest that this is because of our evolutionary past where, you know, as a tribal animal, the most important thing was to remain part of the tribe. And so we're really scared of being judged and maybe kicked out of the tribe if we do things that other people don't approve of. And so we have this almost fear of death feeling at the thought of other people will judge me and dislike what I did. Personally, I think it might have more to do with our recent past where generations of children have gone through a school system that teaches you that the most important thing is to not make mistakes. Because the way you get graded is someone counts the number of mistakes you make. And the more mistakes you have, the lower your grade, the more upset your parents and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, when it comes to creative work, it is impossible to make something mistake free. It is impossible to create the perfect thing that nobody can possibly judge negatively or dislike. Whatever the reasons, the simple fact is that when I tell you to publish your writing, to publish that video, to publish your design work, or to get up on that stage and give that speech, you feel the fear. But you've got a plan. You tell yourself, if you just practice enough, eventually that feeling that your work isn't good enough will go away and then you'll be ready to publish. Unfortunately, this does not happen. Even among the world's highest performers, most successful people, best public speakers, you can hear one thing over and over again. The fear doesn't go away. <laughs> My nerves. But it has gotten worse as I've become more successful. Are you is nerve wracking. He's been rapping for 20 plus years. Yeah, I, I am nervous about the situation. Pretty much nervous at, at every game. You still feel nervous before you go on stage. You still look at your work and feel like this is just not good enough yet. The idea that at some point that simply goes away and you will feel 100% comfortable to publish your work is just not realistic. Now that's bad news, but I have even worse news for you, which is that when you're just practicing for yourself, you're missing out on about 80% of the actual skill building you could be doing. This is why I say that your job is to ship and it doesn't count when you don't publish. How could that be? Well, let's look at a simple example to explain. Right now, you're watching a YouTube video. This is an example of creative work and an example of something most people are afraid to publish, right? Who wants to publish their first video? Now, if I want to make YouTube videos and I want to get better at it, 
Surely I can say, well, I can just practice making videos and get better at it without having to publish anything. And it's true that if I just practice for myself, I can learn a lot about how to set up a shot, how to use a camera, how to use lighting and audio gear and how to do an edit. But that's only 20% of the picture. It is the moment I start publishing my work and uploading it to YouTube that I discover the other 80%, such as how do I make a good thumbnail for this video? How do I make a good title? And when I start thinking about that, I have to think about, wait, who is this video for? How are people going to discover this video? Hold on, who's my audience? How do I address my audience? How do I make something that is interesting and relevant for them? How do I start a dialogue with that audience? Also, what is YouTube SEO? How can I get my video ranked in search results? How can I get my video listed as a recommended video on another video? How does this whole thing work? I could be making videos for myself and not publishing them for years and never learn many of the key skills I need to actually succeed as a video creator. And the same is true in loads of other fields and other examples. See, it doesn't matter how good of a designer you are, if you don't know how to work with clients, how to pitch your design, how to do all the other work around the design, you will never have a successful career in that field. And there's one more factor, and here maybe public speaking is the best example. Of course, I can stand alone in my living room and practice giving a speech. But then when I get on stage and I'm really nervous and there's all these people looking at me, that's when I find out that it doesn't really matter how good I am at giving a speech in an empty living room. What matters is how good am I giving a speech when I'm really nervous and there's lots of people staring at me. This is a key part of the skill. How good are you at making a video doing the design, doing the writing, giving the speech, when you're nervous, when there's a deadline, when you feel insecure, how good are you then? That's what really matters. And the only way to practice that is to publish. So here's the third thing you need to understand. How do we solve this problem? In short, you have to practice shipping. Like I said in the beginning, especially if you don't feel ready, especially if you're afraid. Because wrestling with those demons is part of the skill that you need to develop. No skill is just technical. It's not just about how you can string words together, how you can edit a video, or how you can draw some lines. It is that plus everything else. It is that plus doing the work in the context, on a deadline, when you're nervous, for other people. I'm afraid there's no shortcut or easy solution here. You have to confront that fear. And doing it early on in your career is the best moment to say, hey, I know that I'm still a beginner, but I'm just going to start publishing my work. I'm going to start bringing out those demons. I'm going to start confronting those fears. Because while the fear never fully goes away, I can't tell you that it gets easier. It goes from, oh my God, I feel like this is not good enough. I can't do this to, oh, this is the part where I'm nervous. This is the part where I feel my work isn't good enough. And it's a familiar feeling. You know you can get through it and you know you can perform despite it. Now, if you know me, you know I like to make things very practical. So here's an exercise you can do to implement what you've learned in this video right away. Do a 30-day challenge where you publish one piece of work every single day. I have done this many times myself and I've also had people on my teams do this and I've seen over and over again how much people improve in just 30 days of daily publishing. And yes, I really do mean publishing something every single day. You can do this with written content, with design work, with videos, even with short films. No excuses. In fact, I recommend that you limit your time further. Don't give yourself all day to do the work every day. Limit yourself to three hours or less. This forces you to create very simple, contained, minimal pieces of work. And that is a great exercise, especially for beginners. This type of 30-day challenge is challenging, but it's also easier in some ways than you might think. Because first of all, you have a clear deadline in sight. You know that this is going to be a sprint, but after 30 days, it's done. Also, the fact that every day your time is so limited, you have to publish something, kind of makes it easier. It makes some of that this is not good enough go away because you have the excuse, so to say, that, hey, I'm doing this challenge, you know, I only have three hours to make this. It makes that standard of everything has to be perfect soften a bit. And finally, of course, it gives you many repetitions. And you'll probably find that doing 30 small pieces in a row helps you grow in ways that spending 30 days working on one thing just doesn't. 
If you want to learn more about this specific challenge, I have a free class called How to Become an Implementation Machine. You can sign up for that below. That will be the first link in the description. So that's completely free with more details on exactly how to do this challenge. And if you want to learn more about why your job is to ship is such an important mantra for me and how it helped me transform my own productivity and gain greater success, watch this video next. Thank you.